Hey guys, in this video we're making a simple single strand floating necklace. This design has gemstone beads on one end and a ring on the other so we just slip those gemstone beads through the ring to hold the necklace in place at the front. For my design today I'm using a 20mm sterling silver ring and I've got four 6mm gemstone beads. For the cording, we're using 60 centimeters of 0.8mm polyester cord. This is quite a versatile design. You can use different thicknesses of cord and different size beads as well. Using different weights for the beads and ring will affect the weight distribution, but you can adjust the beads and weights on each end so it still sits really nicely. Now we start by placing three beads onto our thread. So I cut the end of my thread on an angle to make it easier to thread through the beads. And then place our three beads onto the thread. Once our three beads are on, we hold our thread in our left hand with a little bit of length on the right hand side here and then bring it down the back and around our finger towards the left for two full loops around. Now gently remove those two loops off your finger and bend the end of the cord around and place it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and gently pulling that knot down nice and tight and tidy. Now that should be a nice tidy knot. You want to make sure it's really tight and that when your beads slide up against it, the knot is bigger than the holes in your bead. Once you're happy with the beads on this end and your knot, then we can swap onto the other end. So I like one more bead on this end as well as my ring. So just cutting that thread on an angle again and then placing my next bead on. Now these beads can slide along from one end to the other. So depending on how heavy your ring is and how you want the weight distributed is where you place these beads. Next up we place our little ring onto our thread. So we can pull that bead out of the way. Now bringing the ring around and holding it in our left hand with the cords on the right hand side. So we've got the shorter end on the top here, making sure we've got a little bit of length on this top cord. And then bringing it over the front, down and out the back to form our first loop here. Gently holding that loop and working towards the left. Again, we bring it over the front down and out the back for our second loop. Now bending the tail end of our cord around and placing it down both loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and gently pulling this knot down tight. Now you should be able to slide this little knot into position. So I just bring it right down on top of the ring, make sure it's really nice and tight. You can try your necklace on for size before you cut these tails off, but I find these measurements are about right for the type of thread that I use and the length of necklace that I like. And then we can cut both our tails off and cinch with a lighter so they don't fray. So nice and close to those knots and then just melting the end and tapping it to fuse it onto the knot so it won't come undone. So there's your simple single strand gemstone and ring necklace.